let's establish some operator algebra to support discretizations of differential equations. Now, what we've given is that the operator d operating on a function u of x is just the derivative u dashed of x, and that e operating on u of x is just the shift operator, now u of x plus h, where h is the spacing of the grid in space. Also, we're given the centered difference operator, delta, is e to the half minus e to the minus a half, and shifts by a half to the right and to the left by minus a half. And the mean operator is a half of e to the half plus e to the minus a half. Now, the first result we're going to prove is that the shift operator is e to the h d, where d is the derivative operator. So let's start with e. Now, e operating on any function u of x is, from definition, u of x plus h. And let's use um, a Taylor series to approximate this as the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial times h to the n times the nth derivative of u evaluated at x. Ah, but we've got a, another symbol for derivatives. We've got this d for derivatives. So we write this as the sum n equals 0 to infinity, 1 over n factorial h to the n d to the n of u of x. Now looking at this, let's take out the common factor of u of x. And then what have we got sitting in here? We've got nothing other than the Taylor series expansion of e to the hd. So formally, we write this is e to the hd operating on u of x. And since this is true for all uh, smooth u of x, we can say that these two operators must be the same. So e has to be e to the hd. Uh, one more thing though, uh, let's take the logarithm of both sides, so further to the proof, we can say log of e is log of e to the hd, and since the log of the exponential is just the argument, this is hd, and this establishes another identity that h times d, the derivative operator, is log of the shift operator E. Right, another identity which we'll, we'll use in discretizations is that the centered difference operator is 2 hyperbolic sine of a half h d. And we get this from definition. So from definition, delta is e to the half minus e to the minus a half. But now we know that E is the exponential of hd, so this is e to the hd to the power of half, and since exponents multiply, that's the same thing as e to the hd on 2, minus e, which is the exponential of hd, times minus a half, so that's minus hd over 2. Now, what do we do? Let's multiply and divide by 2, and we recognise there that this is just the ex uh, definition of the hyperbolic sign that I have up there. So this is 2 hyperbolic sign of a half hd as required. But further we can prove another identity that's useful rearrange this for hd. So divide by 2, so delta on 2 is equal to sine h of a half hd. Take the arc sine h of both sides is a half hd, and then multiply by 2. 
crosses out that half and makes two there. So HD is two arc sine H for half delta. And that's also very useful. Right. The last thing I want to prove is this identity that the mean operator is the square root of one plus delta squared on four. And we prove this by looking at one plus a quarter delta squared and the definition. So one plus a quarter delta squared, delta is e to the half minus e to the minus a half squared. So that's one plus a quarter into e to the half squared minus two e to the half e to the minus a half plus e to the minus a half squared. Now e to the half squared is just e to the one minus two. e to the half times e to the minus a half, that's the same thing as e to the zero, which will be one. So this is just two times one. And then e to the minus a half squared is just e to the minus one. Now, one plus a quarter of this. So take that one inside this quarter and it becomes plus four. And plus four minus two is plus two. So this is one quarter e plus two plus e to the minus one. And then looking at this, just like we did down here, we revert this, but instead of the minus have a plus, we can see that this combination is the same thing as e to the half plus e to the minus a half all squared. And the quarter is 1 over 2 squared, so this is e to the half plus e to the minus a half over 2 all squared. And this is nothing other than mu squared. Take the square root of both sides and we get the identity that we're required to prove. <coughs>